Right, uh, today's video is going to be a bit of a, tu not a tutorial, but just a showcase of a combo that I've been working on, an advanced combo, this is. Uh, the prerequisites for it are going to be the, um, oh shit, the choker fan, so just, you know, basic choker fan. Uh, the Helix Aerial to Zero G Chaplin, which looks a bit like that, and you can end that however you want. And then towards the end, there's two two possibilities: either a short stop, which kind of looks like that. That wasn't really in frame. Let me do that again. A short stop. Or you can just cheat if you don't know how to do a short stop and just ice pick aerial, which is a little easier. And so it's basically going to be those three tricks linked up in that order. So you're going to start off with a basic fan to build up momentum for the choker. And you've seen me do this a lot. So basic fan to build up momentum for the choker. You're going to do the choker. And then to finish the choker, you want to do a thumb rollover. So you're on the bite handle. So a fan into the choker, and then as you come out the choker, a thumb roll over. And this is where you're going to start your helix aerial from. So wrist pass, aerial. Sorry, I can't do this without momentum that well. Aerial, and then catch it on your finger like this. And then you're going to start your zero G chaplain. And you can do like a few rotations. Three looks good. I can do like, you know, six or seven, but it gets a bit boring. I've actually gone around enough. And then you're going to end this just by bringing it above your hand, spinning it round over your thumb again to catch the bite handle. And here's where you do your short stop or your uh, ice pick aerial. So for the short stop, bring it around onto this handle, onto your uh, safe handle over your thumb. So uh, what do you call it? Reverse thumb roll over. Once around your finger. And this is, I'll do a tutorial on the short stop at some point, but it's kind of, you throw it halfway around your finger and catch that the bite handle like that. And then obviously for the the um, ice pick aerial, I can't really give you any more tutorial than you throw it up and catch it at the right time. It's kind of a timing streak there. No special things about it. So yeah, um, it's just a choker. Oh, almost dropped it. Yeah, a choker into a helix aerial catch it you can do middle finger pinky finger uh, you can do any finger you want uh, to do the zero g middle finger looks kind of cool over again to hold the bite and then you just end it however you want it's a very short kind of cool looking you've probably seen me do it a few times in my videos and yeah i'd say uh definitely a cool one to learn if you uh, are wanting to know how to put your choke fans, maybe some more advanced tricks like the uh, the Zero G Chaplin into practice. And I'll do a tutorial this week probably on my choker fans because all of you keep saying how much you like them. I've been working on them a lot, so make them really smooth. So, And I'll talk about different ways to exit them. I've got five or six different ways um, that might be interesting. So yeah, that'll be a future video coming up. The squiddy should have arrived today, but it didn't, which I'm a bit annoyed about, but that will be, um, I don't know, later in this week. It should be tomorrow. If it's not, then I'm going to call up and see where that is. And then again, the, um, the Kraken should be arriving sometime this week. But yeah, check tutorial, and I'll talk about five different ways to exit that, including, um, you know, rollovers, uh, backhand fans like that, an aerial, which is a cool one. You can uh, choke up into, you kind of like throw it while it's still chokering up like that, and then you can catch it in an aerial and then whip it around your hand. That's kind of cool. And there are a few other little different variations of rollovers you can do uh, behind the eight balls and chaplains or other ways you can exit that I'm going to talk about. And maybe also a ladder if I can figure out and get that one down mastered. But yeah, I wanted to keep this under five minutes, so um, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed that uh, that combo, and I'll probably do some more combo tutorials or combo like ideas another time.